I'm Johnny Anderson. I want to tell you a little bit about the Earth Bag Bill construction system and how it could help address some of the urgent social issues in South Africa. The most critical one, of course, being jobs, and then secondly, housing. Ignoring these issues is likely to have dramatic social consequences. South Africa already has one of the widest wealth gaps of any country. And the horror of a shack fire is just one of the challenges facing those in informal settlements. Almost certainly mass-produced cookie-cut houses are not the answer, as they do not build cohesive communities. So why the earth bag build system? Well, earth has been the main building material for thousands of years. These 1,000 year old seven story buildings in Yemen are still in use and this 1828 rammed earth building in the damp climate of Germany is too. Earth bag building is cost effective, creates employment and opportunities for micro business startups and is light on resources using very little or no timber and steel. The three bales of bags for one 40 square meter house will fit on the back seat of your car, so transport costs are minimal if local fill material is used. The great insulation properties mean no home heating and cooling costs or condensation that can cause respiratory illness. Warm in winter and cool in summer and extremely quiet. No more ghetto blasters waking you at 3 a.m. Non-toxic, corrosion and termite free and fire resistant, which gives huge comfort to anyone who has moved from a shack. And if floods or flying bullets are an issue, earth bag walls will handle those as well. The earth bag is a polypropylene bag sewn into three channels. Only the outer two are filled with earth or sand, leaving a central web connecting the two. Polypropylene is very strong and durable, provided it is protected from UV light. The bags are reusable and recyclable. When the bags are stacked, the central channel is filled with earth, which locks the rows together, preventing lateral movement. The bags overlap at corners like bricks. This is an engineered earth bag system, which means buildings can be constructed consistently and strong, allowing for building code approval. The channel can be filled with reinforced concrete to create lintels and ring beams, though this is not needed in modest structures. Plumbing and electrics can also use this space, but also can easily be installed after the wall is built. I think the most important reason to build with earth bags is to create jobs. Here women in Burundi, having been chased away from the site by the men, have made filling the bags a happy social occasion. Not difficult to do, nor is laying the bags after a few instructions. The walls for 240 square meter houses can be built from the bag stored in a single 12 meter container. Fill material may be available on the site for example from water tank excavation. Research into the use of dry waste, landfill, fly ash from power stations or non-toxic mine dumps could help solve other environmental problems. With Engine Petroleum International we built a 700 meters square meter school in Burundi. The bags for a 350 square meter block of four classrooms are in these few bales. Earth bags can be specified for a project just like any other construction material. The city of Cape Town has commissioned the construction of the Force Bay Ecology Park Educational Center, which demonstrates the use of earth bags as wall panel infill in a column and beam structure. Not ideal with all the concrete, but that was the design. The University of Nottingham in England designed and built this preschool, a combination of timber trusses and temperature regulating earth bag walls. This home has a column and beam structure with earth bag infill. Again, the columns and beams are not required in a one-story house. Just earth bags and earth. This house in Masipumalele Township in Cape Town was our pilot project and has been a great success. From sweltering or freezing and noisy shack to a cost-effective, environmentally friendly, comfortable home. 
For this project, we avoided concrete foundations entirely, just adding a small quantity of cement to the sand in the first four rows of bags. The site had been a garbage tip, so not the most stable to build on. Despite that, and plastering directly onto the bags without the use of wire mesh, there are no cracks anywhere four years later. The vertical wooden planks you see here are temporary building guides only. The temporary frames defining the window and door spaces need not have been made of anything more than simple rectangles of scrap timber. We managed to keep the wall straight and level despite very cramped conditions. Plastering was direct onto the bags apart from some experimenting with wire mesh and adhesion was excellent. The floor uses bags with earth in all three channels, compacted down and then a thin screed. The house has been cement plastered and finished to appear as if it was built from masonry. This may be important from a community acceptance aspect, though aesthetically a beautiful hand-rendered lime earth plaster finish can be very attractive and might be preferred. A small section of wall was left unplastered, the only sign of the underlying earth bag construction, though the cool and quiet interior and thick farmhouse walls are a clue. A solar geyser and grey water supplied veggie garden were installed. Yeah, do you want a simple rustic garden wall or a retaining wall? Well, just earth bag it. It's a very cost effective system. A complete two bedroom house should be no more than 100,000 Rand, about 12,000 US, and could be a fraction of that if owner built, with a simple rubble trend foundation and earth from the site for earth bag fill, plaster, and floor. The community involved in a project to build their own homes will be investing their labor and resources back into their community rather than, <coughs> than to contractors and builders merchants. The income from the largely unskilled labor component of a small housing project could be at least 20% of the project capital cost overall. Earthbag Build aims to be part of the solution, not a part of the problem. Thanks for watching.